What's up, hard workers? It's your boy Frankie Hard Work, and I am super duper back with another one. Real quick, y'all. I appreciate y'all to get me to 14,800 and semi subscribers. I'm trying to push to this 15. Then I'm trying to get to the 20. Y'all already know how we trying to do, y'all. I appreciate it. And y'all can help me doing that by subscribing. We hit the subscribe button, hit the bell button so you get all of my dopifications. Like I'm about to drop right now. Let's go. So. 21 Savage uh, has been speaking, well, he spoke on Takeoff, you know, a lot of that going on. You know, he Atlanta rapper, he knew Takeoff, that was cool. But he was talking about Takeoff on um, DJ Academics podcast. And the way he broke it down was very interesting because he spoke about Takeoff, but he also spoke about something where I found very interesting. And I'm going to play this clip real quick, and then I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. I feel like it was a freak accident a thousand percent, but I also feel like that shit was an eye opener for them niggas too, type shit. That's just me. What you mean eye opener? Like, I feel like they had all that bullshit going on, and I feel like that was kind of like, I don't know. I feel like like God working mysterious ways. Like, I don't even believe in God, but the, the most high. You believe in God? I believe in like a, a high Spirituality type, type yeah. shit. But I just feel like certain shit just happened for certain reasons, bro. I don't know. Because I don't want to say that like it's like. I don't want to say that like it's damn near like he was a sacrifice or some shit. So I ain't saying it in that way. But more so like. A lot of people going to learn from this situation type shit. And realize like a lot of shit don't be worth it. Not, not talking about like the way he died. Mm -hmm. But just in life. Yeah. Like a lot of feuds and arguments and fucking feeling this type of way feeling that type of way all that shit really don't be worth it in the end of the day type shit yeah when it all boiled down to it because it's like nigga we got one life you can't it ain't no redos nigga this shit don't last a thousand years most niggas live to what 60 70 that ain't a long time if you really think about it then by the time you start getting money and enjoying life nigga you you done already lived 20 percent of your life then another forty percent of your life, nigga, you gonna be old, so you ain't gonna really be able to do a lot of shit. So what do you? You really only get forty percent of life to really just live and have fun for real, if you really think about it. Cause you gotta calculate the half of your life that you sleep. So if you seventy, I ain't even gonna say half, cause don't nobody sleep twelve hours. But nigga, if you live to be seventy, at least twenty five of them years your ass sleep. So you really only living to be what forty five. That's your alive. Ten of them years you a child, so thirty five. Then you gotta think about the broke years where you really don't get to move around and really be who you are for real because you don't got the funds. So that's another five ten years. So nigga, you really only got a real twenty years to really live your life for real if you think about it. So all that bullshit don't really be worth it at the end of the day. None of it. Any any beef that exists ain't worth it. Any few. Any fucking relationship that was like, y'all broke up over some bullshit, that shit wasn't worth it. Any fucking decision you made over some bullshit, that wasn't worth it. I can't front y'all. That was a dope breakdown. The way he broke that down about life, had not come from him. I mean, I'm not going to lie. My respect went up for him way more. You know, I have respect for him because he's a different type of rapper. 21, he's a different type of rapper. You know, he... He really stay out the way for the most part. But what also stood out to me is like that he was saying like he felt as though this, this situation was like a lesson, a real. See, and, and honestly, when he was saying it, you could kind of see he kind of was catching himself a little bit because he probably know things that they don't. I mean, that, that we don't know. You know what I mean? Remember, they both from Atlanta. You know, they hear things. They're not too far from each other. Which McCall is from what? North Atlanta? Uh, what's my man's name? Uh, uh, take off from North Atlanta, and if I'm not mistaken, um, which we call it, uh, Twenty One is from East Atlanta. If I'm not mistaken, I could be wrong. He from over there by Gucci and all that. If I'm not mistaken, but when you hear him break that down about take off in particular, because he was pretty much saying take off. I put a clip up there. He was pretty much saying take off to himself. He's a quiet dude. If he sees somebody arguing with take off, they was the one that started it. That was the type of dude that Takeoff was. You know what I mean? That's what he was saying is a good dude. But this, I feel as though he didn't want to say it, but he said it anyway. 
I mean, but he didn't want to say it, but he kind of alluded to it. And I felt as though he was trying to say, like, it's who you be around. And, 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 and you know, the, the, not even who, but, like, what you be around. You understand? Because, like I said, you don't hear too much about 21 being anywhere. So it was like he telling people, like, you ain't got to be everywhere. You understand? You got to, when you go, you just go get your money, do what you got to do and be out. Now, I'm not saying just close your life and it can't have fun. But you got to have fun smart when you got all that money and when you got, when you move in a certain type of way. Because you're going to have people feeling the type of way about you that you don't even know as a rapper. That's the thing about being a rapper. You People will be right next to you and can't stand you and would act like they love you. That's a that's deep right there. So I like the way 21 Savage broke this down. And it really seemed like he wanted to see a lot more. I got to go check this interview out. But y'all let me know how y'all feel about this in the comments. Uh, this is a reaction. This is a reaction. So don't, 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 don't flag me. But um, y'all, let me know how y'all feel in the comments. It's your boy Frankie Hardwork. Like, comment, subscribe. Do you like the way he broke it down? Let me know in the comments.